be doing something godly. Welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom Brown and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines. And as we do it this time every week, we're going to talk about NRL. We don't I can't do talk it. about the round that's just been played, as I usually say. Talk about because... rugby league. Do we? Well, no, we can't talk about NRL. We're going to talk about rugby league this week. Well, we are going to talk about NRL. Don't worry about these two. We're going to talk about football first. Well, that's what I meant. Okay. Yep. Go. Go. Okay. Yep. So, do we start again? No? Okay. Now, listen, you are going to have an issue later. I have an issue right now. I'm looking at it. (laughs) I I think your your nickname has to be Marshmallow. Okay? Just not happy with you, son. Can't wait for that. All right. Well, yeah, okay, we'll get on All right, it. So let's talk about the representative round that's just been played. Yep. By the way, Jen, just very, what did you think of it? Jen, overall, don't go well, into... No, no, I, well, I, I loved it. I think I think that this should be a, a mid-year fixture uh, every year at State of Origin time. Well, sadly, it's dead for next year, but okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's one that Valentis has got wrong. Which, which is why I'm asking you, because I actually quite yeah. enjoyed it. Oh, you I and it. I, Brian, debated about whether some of these yep. should be played at the end of the year. Yeah. But for some of them, nobody's really going to care about Lebanon and Malta at the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, so, absolutely. Look, I, I, no. I think it was. I think it's great that... Um, I, I think that in order for Rugby League to continue to grow, we need to, we need to foster the international game. And I think that, that the, there are a majority of Islander players in the NRL competition, which is a, the highest standard competition. And I think that... To have the the test series played uh, amongst the state of origin gives us the best of the Australian born players, the best of the Pacific Island players, uh, and you know England, Wales, and Scotland can do their own thing because come the end of the year, these guys are going to be gelled, and World Cup time comes around, <coughs> yeah. that you know it'll it'll just solidify them. I, I I think it's a fantastic idea, and I, I wish that it went for three weeks. Okay, Tom, your thoughts? Yeah, no, no, I loved it too. Um, I I think. Um, there's not enough international football anyway. Yep. Um, the hard part for me is how you make it how you make it work in the calendar because the mm. calendar is already chock a block, and now yep. we're going to have a broadened women's competition as well. So finding space for all of this and and a World Cup year makes it extra hard. I mean, it's yeah. great because you're going to see these teams playing at the end of the year, but um, yeah, it makes it extra hard with 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 that. But I mean, I I think it's great to inter to while well, you have um, uh, origin football to actually let allow the other players to be to be playing as well and enjoying that because you know a lot of times there's been arguments about a lot of uh, Australian born mm. Islander heritage players wanting to play yeah. for for uh, wanting to play Origin you know. Yeah. So this gives them an outlet, and uh, and and it was high quality. It was, you know, it was every high game quality. Was. No, they weren't all high quality. Let's talk about the first game. <laughs> well, which you, we didn't see because we, we couldn't were see. Otherwise... Did, you, did you? Yeah, Lebanon, Lebanon versus Malta. We, what, <clears> oh, the look. Elias Fennec Cup. Yes. Look, hmm. l- let me just say. So, so I watched that game. Um, this is these teams ranked are very close together. I think it's I think it's twelve and thirteen or something like that. Yeah. Lebanon were a class above. And they didn't have their their big name players, yeah, they, so they, so there was no Dewey. they didn't have Dewey, Mitch Moses, any of those kind yeah. of guys who were eligible. Mm-hmm. Um, Why not? I, I don't know. Prob- probably because they won by sixteen points and they've already qualified for the World Cup, and there was no point. But wouldn't you? Have, would, wouldn't those I, players have wanted to play? Yeah, I don't. The, the know. clubs wouldn't have wanted them to I, play look, to, well, in, in a, man, in a meaningless, want, like, meaningless well, game. It's not meaningless. Well, it's for the World Cup points. Well, no, no. Well, no. no but they're already through because it already doesn't through. matter. They've already qualified, and and the Knights hadn't. And look, to be perfectly honest, this was, uh, and and this is going to sound really harsh, and I'm really sorry because I know uh, one of one of my mates, Steve, Steve watches this game, and he's of Maltese uh, heritage. Mate, this was reserve grade. <clears throat> It was on a Wednesday night for a reason. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty average. So, all right. My, all right well, yeah. I, I, I mean, I would have liked to watch, but it was only, it was only on KO, and it wasn't even on Fox. So, I mean, if they put it on Fox, maybe people, they had yeah. cameras there anyway for KO. I, 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 I can Fox. tell you, I can tell you, you know, who the standout player of the match was. It was um, Jason Samet, who used to play for the Panthers and is over in England. Yeah, he was he was a standout. I, I know that he played for the losing team, but he just. 
he kept going and going and going and going. The effort that he put in was sensational. Mm. All right. Okay, let's let's move along. Let's start off with the women's <coughs> under-19s state of origin, where New South Wales 22 defeated Sprung Queensland 6. Um, women's state of origin. Yeah, okay. right. I'll, I'll, look at yep. your, I'll look at your screen there. Yep. Sorry, you guys... Well, well, yeah, because you were talking about internationals, and then you go back to state of yeah, origin. Yeah, I said in order that they have control. In order that they were played. I know he does like to have control. control. Yeah. Okay. All right. right. Go, Tom. Seriously. Yep. Uh, yep. So New South Wales women. Well, they won everything. This uh, New South Wales won everything at the weekend. Um, Twenty to fourteen. I um, uh, oh, see. This is under nineteen. Is it? Sorry. Nine. Sorry. Okay. See, this is why you let me have the control. So we all know what we're talking about. We're talking about New <laughs> South Wales 22, teams. Queensland women 6. Oh, state of origin, there we go. Well, even that's the men's. Yeah, there you go. Right. We're struggling. See, we're if struggling you'd actually here. given us a script, we would have been okay. I did. I uh, said before okay, we started, so New South Wales, in order. New South Wales won 20, 22 to 6. Thank correct. you very much. It's on the screen behind you. Oh, great. That's good. Behind us. Yeah. So what did you ask, what did you ask me for? Um, oh. Possession was even... Um, uh, completions and New South Wales killed it in position, possessions. Uh, they were just better. Okay, let's talk about the game. Um, a very high quality game, I thought, yep. for under 19s. Yep. Yes, okay, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's your lead in. Um, and uh, um, somebody, A. Robinson, I, I don't know who, what her first name is, she scored three tries. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah, and Jaden Taylor, or Jada Taylor, Jada Taylor. Jada Taylor. That, um, that was a superb Absolutely. Drop. Picked up in the in goal, ran all the way. It was great. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. a... And I honestly, I thought this was a high-quality game. Mm. I really did. Mm. I, they all were. Um, some had a few blowout scores, but I thought this was Look, a high-quality game. Where the women's game is at, at the moment, it's yeah. it's highly competitive, and these, yeah. these girls really want to win. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no... I mean, they may wear, they may wear braids in their hair, and they may have their nails polished, but, man... They can hit like they, the best of they them. Hit. Oh, they man, hit I wouldn't want to get hit by them. Jeez. All right, let's go on to the under-19s men, where New South Wales 32 defeated Queensland 4. And I've got to say, the Isaiah Longy at fullback, <coughs> who is a, apparently a Penrith, in Penrith reserve grade, was an absolute standout. You reckon? The whole team was a standout. Their, yeah. their halfback, that Perez guy from Melbourne, was... Yep. Oh, yeah, no wonder they weren't so fussed about signing Jerome Hughes. I mean, not that they weren't fussed, not that Melbourne weren't fussed about signing Jerome Hughes, mm, but yeah. they cer certainly weren't offering him overs. And there's a, yeah, there was a reason. There's, there's lots of good, lot, there's lots of good talent. There's yeah, a lot of good talent. I, I tell you, I, I really like the um, the the young hooker who New South Wales had, uh, Tyler Moriarty. Yeah, right. yeah, a rooster. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Is he? Yeah. yeah, I know. I had to look it up because. I, I, I think that that is one area where my club's lacking and I'm thinking, mate, this guy's killing it. He's passing out a dummy half. Half was crisp. He was hitting pretty hard. He was, you know, great vision. Yeah. Um, their, their back three was were really good. The the five eight, yeah. Thomas Weaver yeah. at the Gold Coast, he was he was fantastic. Yep. Um can we just flick across? I'm just gonna pinch the screen for a second. Sure. Pinch across to the to the Maroons. The 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 big bloke, the front rower. Uh also also a rooster. Is he? Vaa. Whoa, man. That kid, they're brothers. There's brothers. That kid can play. Yeah. He was He's the captain, yeah. He was a yeah. monster and yeah. and he all he wanted to do was dominate. Yeah. I like I, I know you can't it's it's hard when your team loses when mm. you know you're watching that and they've lost by twenty eight points. Mm. He was a monster. He wanted yeah. to dominate yeah. at every opportunity. Yeah. That's what and you want from a they've first been grader. Touting him for a while now. So. Yeah. And to yeah. be and these were under nineteens. I know. Mm. I'd be scared. <laughs> <Big boys. laughs> Yeah. And there are a few who didn't play. I mean, yeah. Suwali. I, th I think they should have let Suwali play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He but, wasn't going to play no, State of no. Origin, so he should they should have let him. Yeah, play. but they did. They did also say that there were only going to be uh, was it was it two players from each side with NRL experience or something similar. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were touting. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I thought it was fa fantastic game. It was. Yep. It was excellent. All right, let's move on to State of Origin for women. Mm -hmm. New South Wales twenty defeated Queensland fourteen. Yep. And again, another high-quality game. And this was only decided in the last five, seven minutes. Mm, yeah. Yeah, two disallowed tries, one on either side. Yep. Um, I had to listen to this on the radio on my way home from... Went to Elvis. Um, 
and uh, Elvis. and saw the last. He was a he, la- yeah, he got a little jiggle there. <laughs> Elvis, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, the last twenty minutes I heard in the radio, and yeah, yeah, try try to try to Queensland, try to New South Wales, mm. both disallowed, um, and then Isabel Kelly, man, she is such a dependable player, um, on the back of a great move down the side and uh, scored scored the winning try. Yep. Uh, great performance by the by the Blues girls, um, and I just love to see the Maroons lose. Yeah. Can't say I'm unhappy about that. <laughs> All right, let's go on to some of the internationals. Where the Kiwi friends fifty defeated Mate Ma Tonga twelve for the ladies. It's there in the bottom of your screen. Yeah, okay, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty to twelve. Yeah, didn't yeah. see this game. I think it was during the day. I was busy doing other things. Um, what do you think, Steve? Um, look, this was probably, out of all the internationals, this was the one I probably struggled with the most. It, it, because it was the blowout, yep. and, and it was a bigger blowout than I thought, I honestly thought Tonga would show a lot more than what they did. Um, now, I, I don't know why that is, but, yeah, I mean, the, mm. it, they, they were easily dominated. There's no... Mm. Yeah, you know, outclassed. Yep. They easily were. Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's go on to... Uh, New Zealand 26 defeated Tonga 12. This is the men's international men's. now. No, this is the one we watched together. Yes. And Steve, Steve and I both said that this would be the scoreline. Yeah, we did. You and I both said 26 New Zealand 26, six. Tonga 12. Yeah. Six. Well, six. I said six. You might have said 12. <laughs> well, wasn't that the final score, Tonga 12? <clears throat> no. That's what the board says. I think you both said Tonga. <laughs> <laughs> the board's wrong. It's 26-12. Or 26-6. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. So I always picked New Zealand. I always thought they had a, they had an awesome side, and um, um, but I was surprised at how dominant New Zealand were. Um, but then you, you look at you look at their forward pack. I mean, oh. Fisher Harris. Um, they had uh, Big Nelson. Yeah. Um, look. Yeah. You know. I don't know. I don't know whether huge. it was the forwards. The my, my issue with the Tongan side was the the weakness in the halves. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, yeah, of course. So if, you've got. If, if you, you, you look at that spine, you've got uh, Kula playing fullback, who plays centre. You've got Stags playing, Katani Stags playing halfback, who plays centre. Five eight. Uh, oh, sorry, five eight. Yeah, uh, Amon, who's barely barely a first grader, playing. Mm. Not not that he isn't incredibly talented. Yeah, yeah. Like I, and you know Havali, who's behind <coughs> Cook. Like it, it really, their spine let them down. Mm. It was. And Havali's not playing hooker most of the time anyway. No, he plays the yeah. forward. No. So and he's look, doing a damn good job. You know, look. So, so, and I don't want to. I don't want to detract from what New Zealand have done. They mm. were they were magnificent. Mm. But yeah, the the Tongans just oh, just wanted more. Yeah, their, I think kick, that's where they were lacking. Their kicking game was atrocious yeah. to start with. Okay, I'm not going to ask Tom because I know his answer going to be. What did you think of Joey Manu? <sighs> Man, that was that was well coached by Michael Maguire. <laughs> no, well, well, no, well, no. Like you know, I'm look, trying to work out the sarcasm. No, no, there's no sarcasm. Mm. No, there's there's none. Like J- Joey Manu is is a, a very good player, very yep. good player, yep. top top notch, elite, no problem, whatever you want to call him. Yep. The fact that he ran for 400 meters is is a a straight reflection of Maguire's coaching. Maguire has sa- had said to him, "You get your hands on the ball mm. every opportunity yep. you can. You run." Yeah. And Joey Manu's just done exactly what his coach has told him to do, and it yeah. worked. Yeah. Uh, well, also because Maguire knows what his strengths are, and that is yep. get the ball on in Joey Joey's hands. Yeah. You know he doesn't get as many opportunities at the Roosters yeah. because there's a whole lot of other talent, and he's he's out in the he's out in the centres. I mean, he still does a damn good job for us anyway. But but um, you know, every time he's played fullback when Teddy's been uh, injured or, or on rep duties, he's always killed it. Yeah. I mean, I've got to say, I'm surprised that. Tonga didn't perform better mm. against the Kiwis. I think, it, like, I think Brian's right. The halves, the halves were the difference in the, that the game. The kicking yeah. game was atrocious. Yeah, yeah. It, like yeah. so, when when you know, we all know forwards win matches, and and the the New Zealand forwards were were dominant despite Tonga's Tonga's mm. pack is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. yet, and then their kicking game, they just couldn't turn New Zealand around. Yeah. And New Zealand just had this great kicking game where the where their big where the Tongan big men just kept running back yep. and running back and running back and yeah. I mean, you look at you look all at the, the, New, Ze- the New Zealand yeah. squad. There's not a weakness there. They're all they're all playing virtually at, at their peak at the moment. 
Um, it's a very good side. You know, extremely good. And it'll be interesting to see how they how they shape up against Australia down the track. Yeah. Because yeah, they're bound to meet at some point. It will. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to Samoa 42 defeating Cook Islands 12. And I realise Cook Islands got a bit of a hammering, but I didn't think they performed badly. I, I actually really quite hard. enjoyed this game. Yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah. sure if I, if I enjoyed it. I think it was a bit of a smash-up, but... Um, but, yeah, but they kept trying. They, yeah, they, yeah. Cook Islands give it did that. not give up. Yeah, because they were filled, filled with no names. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. And the Samoan side is fantastic. Yeah, mm. like the Samoan side was good. I, I was, I, I was curious to see how it went with, um, with the the Samoan side, uh, and their halves. So you know, Anthony Milford playing at halfback. Geez, he looked best game is best game I've seen yeah, him playing in five yeah. years. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, Jazz Tavanga, like. I, I thought I thought they were good. Yep. And you, you just trans, um, transplant Taylor May and Isaac Targo yeah. just back into the oh, man. that side. Gee, they, they are they are dynamite. Those two. Yeah. yeah. I did yeah. I did mention to you guys that wouldn't it be good to have a Pacifica type team? Mm. Tonga, Samoa, Papua New Guinea, New Cook Zealand. Island. New Z- no, not oh, against not New, New Zealand. Zealand. Right. Up against New Zealand or Australia. Yep. Yep. And I tell you what, yep. I reckon they would push both Australia oh, yeah. and New Zealand yep. to the limits. Yep. Yeah, the, sure. again, it's just, yeah. I agree. Well, it's, it's almost like a you know, Six Nations type of thing, really. Yeah. You, you know, having your own sort of. Because thing. here's the challenge. I mean, you look at, we, we, we talked previously about um, the, the Tonga. Oh, I think I just lost it. We talked previously about Tonga. He just Tonga. said he lost it. He's, yeah, lost, he's it. lost it already. Right. lost it already. Um, I've lost my thing. Turned off. Yep. Um, we talked previously about Tonga, about Cook Islands and, and the halves and who they've got. But if you could take the best of the Pacific oh, yeah. and make one mm. team... That'd certainly be a, cha- it'd be a challenge. Oh, it'd be enormous. Yeah, look, no, I, I, I'm full of praise. I, so Manly had Josh Schuster in that match. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, and I know, look, there's I can't believe Manly fans have got their heads so far are up their backsides. It's not funny. Josh Schuster is going to be an absolutely sensational 5'8". Mm. Like, he, he, yeah, look, you know what? He's, he's probably running a bit heavy at the moment. But you know what? Yeah. It's the same as Brandon Smith playing at lock and then they put him at hooker. It's a different fitness level that he needs. Mm. Yeah. He's going to be a, a vastly different player at Roosters than he is at Storm because he'll be training for that position. Are we getting Schuster, are we? Smith. Are you talking about Smith? <laughs> okay. Roosters, you want everyone, don't you? <laughs> he, he, and, does, and, he does want everyone. And, and, I, and, I think, and I think next year, Schuster, starting at 5'8", he's going to be absolutely sensational. I think mm. he'll trim down. And, you know, I think at one point, um, Steve and I was, was... Steve sent a couple of messages to me going, oh, I wish he'd run the ball. I wish he'd stop kicking. And then the next three tries, he sets up with little deaf little kids. Yeah, he's got a bit yeah. of baby weight, I think. He's got to get oh, rid of his baby weight. He's, he's, <laughs> he's got I, baby weight? Yeah, because he's a young kid, you know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, goodness. So, so when he converts that to muscle, <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. I was very happy. And mm. poor old Josh Alawai was the first casualty of the HIA. Mm, that was a bad one too. It, I don't think he'll be playing, will he? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, so is he? No, well, apparently, apparently he passed his HIA, but because the see, this is the same as Ponga. Just saying, I'm going to mm. bring this up a little bit later. Yeah. So two players, the independent doctor ruled that they were grade one HIAs. Mm-hmm. And so therefore the player can't go back into the match yeah. and must be stood down. Yeah. Both of those players pass their HIAs. Yeah. Mm. Why, why, why does a bloke who's watching something on TV get to decide what happens <coughs> medically? <coughs> yeah. Regardless of, regardless of his expertise. he's got a expertise. medical degree. degree. Oh, no. So that's, he's that's not examining that, them. He's watching it on TV. But that's... That's what they're... Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yep. Let's Sorry. go on. Papua New Guinea 24, defeated Fiji 14. No, I actually think this was my favourite. This was. Oh, yeah. Of the Good internationals. Game. Man, alive. How yeah. hard did and they I hit and Didn't run? we all say on the day of probably the the, the, the worst ones being played at well, the later said that. time? Tom yeah. said that. We yeah. didn't. Yeah. We said, we said <laughs> this would be sensational. <laughs> we did, actually. Sunia Taruva. Thank you very much. The I Fiji fullback. <laughs> The Fijian fullback. Okay. He was incredible. Wait, the reserve grade Penrith fullback. <laughs> yeah, he was Far incredible. Out. He was incredible. Yeah, the, there was a few standouts oh, in this. Man. And, and I've got oh. to say, the way Papua New Guinea, I haven't seen them play that good. Mm. In oh. a, well, ever. Yep. Yep. That 5'8", that, that Kyle Labatt. Yeah, oh, he's good, isn't he? Labatt, yeah. Man, yeah. I, I, I have not seen... I mean, they ran, they ran kick-out at him. 
He just kept picking kick how up and put yeah, him on his backside. <clears throat> so I thought, all right, you know what? We'll run Nelson at you. <laughs> Picked him up, put him on. I'm just going, dude, like, what is he, Superman? <laughs> and and he's, he's only playing in the Queensland Cup or something, isn't he? He's the Blackhawks. Blackhawks, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what, yeah. what's the go? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. D- defensively, I haven't seen a 5'8 dominate a game like that for ages. But the good so, thing about these games is... There are scouts out there yeah. looking at these kids, like like Taruva. Mm. He's going to get a few phone calls now. His his manager is going to get a few phone oh, yeah. calls. Yeah. Um, Labor deserves to be first in first grade. Man, he's fantastic. You know? yeah. And Lockie Lamb just hasn't been able to make it in at the Roosters. Um, you know, he's behind a few good players as well, but he just hasn't shown the kind of form he showed the other night. I thought I, I was really thankful, for, really happy for him. To yeah. see him play some good I, footy. I tell you that 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 uh, the stand-in winger for Xavier <coughs> Coates, that uh, solo Wayne, mate, I thought he went great. Yeah, like just yeah. what a hard charging yeah. monster. I know. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the big one. All State right. of Origin men's New South Wales forty-four defeated Queensland twelve. All Sorry right. for those Queensland supporters I'm out not, there. I'm not. I'm not. They're not. I am. Suck eggs. <laughs> All right, what do we want to say Thankfully about this? Thankfully, we're match? unbiased on this show. <laughs> I'm not. I hate Queensland <laughs> and Melbourne. Sorry, Sally. <laughs> okay, so it was a good game. Yep, it was, it was a good yeah. game in the first time. Yeah, I thought the first first was really engaging. Yeah, really good. So, yeah. so Tom, you've got the final stats possession up there, 60 to 40, New South Wales. Yep. Did you know, we were watching the game, and my wife said to me, <clears throat> wow, Queensland haven't had the ball. This is during the halftime break. Yep. I quickly looked it up. The stat possession at halftime was 51-49. Yep. Really? Yep. And, Queen, and Queensland were probably the better team for, for the first, in the first half for oh, most please. of the first Bite half. your oh, tongue. No, Bite know. your tongue, yeah. young man. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. I think it was very competitive in the first half. Mm. Yep. So, Steve. Anyway. So, so the, the, sorry? Yeah, go. The, the scream now from the Queenslanders Ooh, yep. are about Ashley Klein and how he had, he had a shot. I mean, obviously he had a brilliant one in the first game. Because they won. Because they won. And a not so brilliant one in the second game because they lost. I, I actually, and I'm not a big, huge Ashley Klein fan. Uh, and yes, we won the game quite considerably. But I actually thought his refereeing was, was much better than the first game anyway. Oh, and I, I think it was actually above his usual standard. That, that's oh. what I think. Well, I mean, I the, think. Billy, Billy Slater freely admitted that Queensland were lobbying for Klein to get that game. Yeah. So you, you, you got your choice of referee. You had a reactive New South Wales side. And you got your butt kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you... You probably missed that. You got your butt kicked. <laughs> With oh, I am. I was ecstatic. I wanted fifty, though. I wanted one more try. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm greedy. Yeah. yeah. Man of the match for you guys? Oh, Nathan Cleary, without a doubt. I don't think there was any doubt about that. Honestly. Yeah. Brian? No, oh, I think so. Okay, so, th- so let me ask the question. Actually, no, we'll we'll come back to yeah. that. Um, what did you think of the Cook Coruscant switch? I thought it was a failure. Did you really? Yeah. I thought it was successful, but okay. So explain why. in what way did you think it was a failure? Uh, so, so <coughs> I, I don't, I don't understand why you're going to play one hooker for forty minutes, then another hooker for forty minutes. Hmm. That that doesn't make sense. If Appy was gassed, why didn't you bring him off? Yeah. At half time, after the first half that he had, why didn't you keep playing him? And although I don't think Cook had a bad game, was it, was there any point? Well, no, because I said last week that you, you'd keep your interchange because you're just running two players who play exactly the same position. Yeah. But I do think it worked. I do okay. think it, it, you know, Coruscant took the early hits, yep. took the thir- first 30 minutes, yep. Cook came on, and then New South Wales ran off with the game. Now, I'm not saying that was all Cook's doing, but I think, I think the idea worked. Mm. See, Whether, I'm, I'm not convinced. Uh, I mean, I mean I, mind you, I'm not convinced... They won forty four twelve. Yeah, but see, but see, for me, I, I would have you know, if you're going to do that, you bring Cook and Pappenhausen, for example, um, and have a player like that who who can do all those yep. different positions. Well, I thought, well. I, thought anyway. I thought what was effective last game was when when Grant and um, Hunt were on at the same time. Yes, um, but you wouldn't run Coruscant and Cook at the same time. 
Oh. Because Hunt can play as, as, as a half as a halfback and so yeah. forth. He's not yeah. just a hooker. Well, we talked about that when the side was, was named. Yeah. You said that when yeah. you're having Cook yeah. on the bench, you need to have a utility. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Next question, Stu? It was, yeah. You get, you've yeah. obviously got more. I do, but no, no, no. No, no, go. No, no, I no, need to bring I'll, it up later. I want you to bring it Okay. I need to bring it up later. So, the the forward defence, what do we think of uh, of the addition there of uh, Jake? Oh, without doubt, it had to be. So what, we all, se- we all 70 said, minutes at prop. Hmm. We all said he should have been the first one anyway. I was actually, I was actually just uh, uh, listening to some other commentators, not us. And they were saying that each time uh, Munster was under pressure, it was Jake. Yep. When uh, the, the charge down that Queensland got, who caught Munster? Jake. Yep. I, I cannot believe that you would leave a player that just... Like, I, I, some people might not like him, I don't know. But he leaves nothing back no, in the shed. But, it but, is but all out there. him and Murray on the field at the same time. Oh. It's... You know, your, your defence is 100%. It's solid as. Yeah. So, yeah. no, no, I, I agree with you. I, yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, it's a minutes game. Yep, yep. So, yeah. Okay, so, 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 you say, so you say clear man of the match, but I'm telling you, if those forwards weren't making those tackles, different, different yeah. story. Yeah, well, I think um, most most of the scoring, I think they, oh. they, 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 they rated Cleary, then Tedesco, then um, then Jake. Well, um, and, and Brian Tohon made 200 post-contact metres. Yeah. Like, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what is... what? He's a machine. Yeah. I, I, I love him. Like he's, he's just a tiny little bloke who's just playing way above his weight. So what happened with Queensland? Gagai had a bad game. 100 post-contact. Munster had a bad so, game. Seven. Yep. Troops. Are we talking to me? Or no, no, he's, 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 he's just proving me wrong. But yeah. yeah. Gagai had a bad game. Munster had a bad game. <laughs> I don't know that there was, a, um, there was a Queensland player who played exceptionally well. Uh, Where yeah. did they fall over? No, no, there were. There were a couple of Queenslanders that played well. Pat Carrigan. Yep. Off the bench, hundred meters. Off the bench. Yep. Uh, Lindsay Collins. Yeah. Lindsay Collins, I thought, game. I thought was good. Uh, yeah. And uh, what I don't understand is Tino was inspirational while he was on the field, mm. but he only played thirty-eight minutes. Yeah, and I, he only made I, seventy-eight. He's meters. got to stay on longer. Mm. Yeah, but he was, he was just, he just doesn't stop. No, that's right. Papa Lee was no. underwhelming. Um, he he ran five five runs for thirty-seven meters. Yeah, I mean, he didn't give a lot of. He got twenty six minutes. Yeah, I mean, and they, so they, and, and they, and they were know. twenty minutes at the start of the match when yeah. New South Wales yeah. were dominating. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you were saying. In... Okay, so we're going to go to Origin three. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, are, are, we, are we not going to mention the Kafusi send off, the turning point, the the the, the sin bin, uh, the sin bin. The sin bin. Yeah. Well, okay, so, okay. okay. No, I'm I'm, cu- right. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, Steve. Was was I think was it justified? Point. Yes, I think it was. Well, I I said to Steve earlier. That I would have sin bin him based solely on that effort alone. Ooh. Seriously, because if you look at it, <clears throat> Harry Grant's got his shorts. There's another bloke hang, holding him down, and they peel off, and then Kafusi decides to hang on and push him down yep. and actually stop him going yeah, yeah. at a critical point where you're half a meter out. That is a sin bin offense 24 hours, 24 hours a day, seven Possibly. days a week. But, I think so. You know, the, 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 mere, the mere. You don't <clears throat> agree? Uh, there were plenty of plenty of flops and slow down the plays throughout, I, and I think for both teams. But I think it was on the back of the previous six against. Mm. Uh, I think it was entirely justified based on the six against, not necessarily that particular. Yeah, and, and I think I said the same to Tom. I, I'm yeah. okay because, you know, the the if, refs have always said they don't have to give a warning, and players are saying we had no warning. You don't have to give no. a warning. Look, mm. if that if that no. was the first six again. I don't think he would have been no. big. If it was the second, I don't think he was big. As a matter of fact, that was the fourth, though. Yeah, but it was in the try. Like, you've got to it do something. Try, it was in a try scoring situation. Well, I think they all um, were. Well, but that was that was that's in a situation. It's the same as when somebody makes a break, and 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 you get pulled down, and you, you know, your defensive line's not back, and you hold the person down. It's much the same thing. You can get sin bin for that one indiscretion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, I think, it was the same sort of thing. Yeah. Had he got a quick play of the ball? Then the dummy half could have could have barged over because the line wasn't set. There were lots of reasons why I thought, just on its own, it should have been a single. Okay, we're going to go on to game three. Yep. yep. Okay. Game three. Game three. Yep. Ch- do Queensland make changes for game three? No, because Queensland is pick, pick and, and stick. stick. Um, do they need okay. to? Well, I mean, Munster's going to be to? fighting fighting to to be to be yep. fit for that with his shoulder. Um, Pong has got to uh, get through his head in, head injury. Um, I he think, should be I right by then. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, look, I, I can't see that that will necessarily change anything, um, personally. I the, think... the, the problem is, that I, I think, I think uh, that, they're, that that's their best team. Yeah. I, 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 don't know, I don't know if there's anyone else just, you know, stepping up and knocking on the door. You know, maybe you bring in... Is Cotter going to be fit? Well, yeah, well, I, I'd say, you know, so Cotter might be back. Uh, <coughs> maybe the Hammer... To add some some speed and but a bit of spark. They him tried with... him in the first game and and they dumped um, him for the second. Who do you replace him with? Though? Murray, Talangi. Talangi's yeah. He's it, he's it, one of the few players hunter. who actually ran hundred meters. Doesn't matter. They yeah. were kicking and, and his how, side. How does he not get cited for hitting Murray in the head? No, because your ears Honestly. not attached to your head. Um, <sighs> your ears not attached. To yeah, your but head. You've, well, got that's to, what they've you've got to say. be above the shoulder <laughs> to actually hit the ear. I think. You know? And and to be perfectly honest, look, I I know I know you know as I said, Kalen Ponga passed his HIA. There's got to be some serious doubts over whether he needs some some time out. Time out. Like a, yeah. like the way Luke Keery gets managed. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So so I don't know whether he's out and you bring in. I, I, I'd be terrified, but Reese Walsh. Mm. I think I think he's an X factor player. I'd yeah, have him on the bench. Yep. Take 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 a smaller man onto the bench. I, um, I don't know. You think Sam? I think Sam Walker would would cover for Munster if Munster can't play. No, nope. they wouldn't bring Sam Walker in. <laughs> no, they'd play Ben Hunt at six. Yeah. yeah. Which would, well, that's but, good for me. Well, Ben Ben Hunt at six, Cherry at seven, Harry Grant at nine, <laughs> means you can carry a smaller man on the bench. Someone like a Reese yeah. Walsh. Whew. Yeah, that's that'd be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and I think that'd be a really good choice too. I really do. I not not that I'm go down well. Yeah, and I'm just hoping that Munster isn't fit because he's a sensational and player. You know what? what we never mentioned in in the, the game that was just played. Um, Burton's kicks. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah. What a de- what a debut, man. I mean, yeah, he, he, yeah. he was exceptional. Yeah. All right, I want to know. Let's, see, but even Burton's kicks. Why didn't? Why weren't they doing that in the first half? It was like it was yeah, like, only know. the second half. The yeah. second half they went to him, and it's like. I don't know how tall, how big that stadium oh, is. Actually, there was one question I wanted to ask. Do you bring Mitchell back no. if he's fit? No. I, 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 for me personally, I would put Whiten onto the bench and keep those centres the same. Oh, uh, see, I, I, I'd put Mitchell in for Stephen Crichton. I thought he had an average game. Oh, wow. But wouldn't you bring Whiten really? in? I thought he Wouldn't you bring Whiten in for Stephen Crichton? St- hang on, no. well, well, Crichton was. Well, you def- don't put Mitchell on the bench. Crichton no, you was, don't. Crichton was defensively brilliant. Oh. Uh, no, I'd I'd, sure. I'd I'd pick White. Wow. I'll be honest with you. I think Whiten comes in. I think Crichton goes out. Man. I don't think you play Mitchell because he's a, he'll only have had two games. I don't think you guys have any idea. <laughs> well, Val, Val Holmes has been the best centre all year. We could, don't have any idea. Val, Val Holmes has been the best centre well, all year, yeah, that's and an he idea, has man. not. He had. He did not make a break but in he's the biggest for game. Queensland. Yeah, because Crichton tied him up in knots. Selwyn Cobbo didn't... How many metres did Selwyn Cobbo make? 64. 64. The guy's a, a, a run-scoring, a run-meter-eating machine. So you don't bring Whiten back? No, you put Whiten on the bench. I'm saying you cannot drop those two guys. So you don't bring Mitchell back? You, no, you don't bring Mitchell back at all, no. Okay. Whiten's on the bench. Whiten's my 14. And he replaces Talakai. Yep. 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 That's it. I can live with that. All right, I'm glad. All right. Yep. Okay, Brian, look at the screen behind you. Oh, dear. Brian... <laughs> I don't have Mi- a rant. I know, Mr. Marshmallow. What? I yeah, what's this? You. I give you your own, <laughs> Mr. Marshmallow. Give you your own screen. <laughs> what's Mr. Marshmallow? Well, he's gone soft because he doesn't oh, have a rant. Right. Okay. There was no NRL rounds this week. I've got nothing to rant about. Well, that's a rant. My my my, my rant is that they're getting rid of the, the international games, but you've yeah. already made me say that. I think it's silly to get rid of the international games. The international game is how we grow. Yep. And if we have, and Tom goes, oh, we can't fit it into the season. Get rid of the preseason, like the that. preseason games. Start <laughs> the season two weeks earlier. Then you have State of Origin one with the international game. State of Origin two with the international game. State of Origin three with the international game. Okay. Where the Pacific we're Island we're teams we're grow. We're running out of time. And like then, and like then, it. and like then, it. we don't get players flip flopping their allegiance between New South Wales, Queensland, <clears> and another <throat> nation. <clears throat> you yep. play for New South Wales and Queensland. You play for Australia. Full stop. Done. Okay, thank That's you. That's one of the few sensible things you've ever Thursday said. Thursday night, Manly versus the Storm. All right, baby. We will kill them. We will rip their heads off. <laughs> Battle of Four Pines, part one. That's not what we said before we started recording. What? That's not what you said before we started what, recording. What, so? It was not. You said Storm no. by 20. Come on. 
I remember. No, because I said it, Munster's likely to be out. You said, oh, so is Pappenhausen, Jerome Hughes, um, <laughs> Nelson, are they all out as well? Give them a chance. Look, no, no, look, I, I, I can say we're undefeated <laughs> at, at, at Brookvale this year, and that undefeated streak well, will you continue. Well, played at Brookvale this year. That streak yeah, will continue. It's four pints. That Get streak right. will continue. Storm okay. for me. Storm for you. Oh. What? Storm, yeah, well, what am I yeah, going to say? Yeah. I'm, I'm going Storm. Uh, Knights and Titans. Before you say who cares, I'm sure there's someone out there who does. Well, Ponga, Ponga makes a difference. If Ponga's there, I think the Knights will win. Ponga won't be there because it's a grade one. He's out for yeah. seven days. Yeah, so I, I actually I think know. Titans might take okay. this one away. Right. Which, yeah. again, I, I, I feel for the Newcastle team because they don't get their best player who passed a HIA because some bloke sit in a bunk and sided it. All right. Uh, Panthers and Roosters. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Tom. Oh, I'm going the Roosters. I, mean, I don't think we'll win. I don't think we'll win, but I just want us to be kept competitive, like last time. Mm. You know, I want us to be competitive. Well, um, I'll only talk, I'll talk to the sensible person in the room, Steve. <coughs> yourself? <coughs> no, you, Steve. Steve, what do you reckon? How much will the Panthers Panthers win by? Win by? Yeah, sixteen points. Sixteen. I'll take sixteen. No, I was going to say, <laughs> I'll take sixteen. Well, I, I was going to say, I was thinking twenty. So we're, we're about on board again. Yeah. yeah so no, no, Kiri. They're no, resting yeah, again they're because they look after their players. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, right. So anyway, uh, Bulldogs and Sharks. Ooh. Sharks haven't been. You want to pick Bulldogs, don't you? Yeah, you the, do, but you don't. <laughs> the Sharks haven't been tearing the house down, no. honestly. And um, the Bulldogs have. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I reckon the Sharks, if it's close, the Bulldogs could win this. Yeah. And it's and it's not a Shark Park. Well, it's a Campbelltown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Combank. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards the Bulldogs at this stage. I'll mm-hmm. probably I change my mind, but... I can't, I can't pick them. I, I, don't, I don't know why, but maybe because they've spent four years making me look stupid every time I pick them. Yeah. All right, let's go to Cowboys and Broncos. Match of the round. This no. will be the match of the match round. Match of the round's Thursday night. This will be the match of the round. No, Cowboys match of the round's coming up. Yeah, look, I, it's, it's a split match between these two, I think. Um, Adam Reynolds, you know, the young up-and-coming halfback. Is, um, who's he? He's back. Oh, um, who's he? Oh, the young up-and-coming hum- halfback is, is in. Is he back, is he? He is. He's a good kid, that one. I like watching him play. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, he's just got, he's got oh. selective memory. There he goes. Yeah. I, uh, but I, there'll be no pain has, I believe. It's Cowboys no, no, territory no, no. too. Payne, Payne House is apparently playing. I no. think Cowboys in a narrow, narrow, narrow margin. Yeah. Maybe even a maybe even a field goal. I'm going Cows at home too. Yeah. Uh, only because it's in North Queensland. The yeah. only thing that would turn me would be Reynolds' experience in the big games. You know, maybe kicking field goals or something like that. Reynolds um, can't win big games. That's what Cooper 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 said. All right, let's go on to match around where the Rabbitohs are playing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who are you on? We've both gone cows. cows. He's going to Broncos. You're going cows. Oh, well, yeah. You're going against the young halfback. Well, okay. yeah, he has no allegiance to me. What? <coughs> <coughs> Rabbitohs and eels. Saturday night. Because you betrayed him. Eels. Um, Rabbitohs. Uh, yeah, eels. Yeah, absolutely. Who betrayed him? It was petulant and ran. Eels. Eels. Rabbitohs here. <laughs> Mitchell's back, baby. <laughs> Mitchell's, yeah, back. Mitchell's one back. T- one, t- one player can't fix your words. M- M- Mitchell will be blowing after 15 minutes and Parramatta will... Mitchell's back, baby. All right. Warriors and Tigers. <laughs> uh, you'd have to go the Warriors and Mount Warriors. Smart. Yeah. Full house. Mm. Warriors. I would have thought the Warriors and Tigers would have a full house. Yep. Anyway, good on them. I'm happy. And Dragons and Raiders. It'd be a good game, this one. Dragons at home. I pick the I pick the dragons and they lose. I pick against them and they win. Like yep. I don't know. You're I'm just a jinx, aren't you? I am a jinx. I'm going Raiders. Well, I kept going. Well, thank you. And you're going Dragons. Yes. Oh, great! You guys are helpful. <laughs> but you can't make up your own mind. Go for, no, go for the Raiders. The I'm going the <laughs> Raiders to win that one by plenty. All right, gentlemen. We have come to the end. We have gone way over time. I do apologise, but. These dribblers have to. Oh, international have their football. Say. Lovely. It's fantastic. It was, good. it was great. It was very good. It was great. It was a good Bring it back. Football. All right. Um, you're with Tom Brown and Stephen. This is Dan O'Reilly from the sidelines. Anything intelligent you with, Brian? Don't say manly or beat the storm. Is it because I said that? intelligent. I've already yeah. said it. Yeah. So there's nothing else. Tom? One more dribble, yeah. Be competitive, Roosters. Okay. I don't know why I bother asking the question. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you all again next week. Bye-bye. See Bye. ya.